Sunday, February 5th, 2023. Well, here I am today. Beautiful Sunday. Calm, calm, no wind. And it's about minus 15 right now. Anyways, I need to shovel to that greenhouse. I need to shovel a path so I can get in there. And I got to check my little trees. And what I need to do is I need to cover them up with plastic so the sun doesn't shine too much on them. Because what I am told is the little trees don't like too much of the spring sun. Anyways, I got to get to it. So I started here a little bit and I decided, wait a minute, I got to take a break here and uh, document what I'm doing. So here it is. So this took me about 20 minutes to shovel out. Now I have a path and I am able to get to my greenhouse. And I'm gonna show you my little trees. They're little cedar shrubs right here. So I don't know, they don't look too well, but I'm hoping they will spring back. No pun intended. Um, I think they're just dormant. Anyways, we'll see. But what I need to do is I need to cover this with some plastic. Uh, so just so that the brightness of the sun does not, I don't know, affect them. I guess from what I hear is that too much of this spring, February, March sun, it makes it bad for these trees. So what I'm going to have to do is cover it up. Anyways, got to get back to work. So here it is. Here's my little path. Yeah, I don't have to, I don't have to chug through. To, to to my greenhouse. Oh, we got some birdies. Hmm. Eh, maybe I should build some some birdhouses and planters for these guys. Eh, I guess that might be my next project. All right, back to work. Okay, so what I've done here is I've taken this old plastic that I found and just covered up my little shrubs here so they are not uh, directly immune to the sun so some of the sun is actually coming through but it won't be as harsh on it so that's that and I found another problem here and let's take a look at that there it is so right here I have a uh, bit of a crack so it just came right out of the screw so I'm gonna have to address this uh, I think what I'll do is I'll just use some sticks just to have it pushed in and then I will do a better job in the springtime to uh, make sure that the side doesn't blow out well there it is yeah so that's that and here's my bark that I've been collecting so as I was making my kindling, I'm taking the bark off and I'm just going to put this bark around my little shrubs. So there it is. That's what I'm doing. So this is the way I'm spending my Sunday and it's beautiful. Check this out. Isn't that cool? So peaceful and quiet. Yeah, most of the people don't live here. Well, except that house right there. They live here year round but all those neighbors over there no they haven't been here all winter anyways I gotta get back to work there's our dacha so there's really not too much snow here in the winter time well this is my first winter experience here this is much less than what we get where I'm from in Pass Creek Canada British Columbia but from what I hear is uh, it could snow usually more or it does snow more. 
I don't know, it's a very dry, dry snow. I mean, check this out. You could just see it. It's very dry, so there's not too much moisture in the air. So it's really easy to shovel. Anyways, I got to get back to work. I got to go into my workshop, which is that batch right there. And I'm going to go build some apple boxes. And I got a fire going there, so it's nice and warm. But actually, it doesn't really feel like minus 12 or minus 15. Because in my car, it said minus 12. So, I don't know. Is it minus 12 out here? I don't know. My fingers aren't cold. Anyways, got to close her up. Maybe I'll take some of the snow off. I got a little bit of snow there, but I'm, I'm kind of lazy to shovel this. But I guess I'll have to do it. Otherwise, it just could be a problem if it cracks and then I gotta redo it oh well gotta go to work okay paka, paka. okay I found a few long sticks at my workshop over there and I just leaned them up against the side of the greenhouse here I don't have the tools right now to fix this so this is just holding it temporarily and during the week I'm gonna come back and I'm going to actually try and repair this much better. But just for now, just in case the wind comes up, there's no way that the wind will be able to pop out the side. So there it is. It's my little MacGyver fix it. Yeah, doing with what I have. All right. I just noticed here that how brittle this plastic is. I don't know how old this plastic is either. But I just, as you lean up the... The sticks on here you just touch the plastic and it just cracks and as you can see here the the bolts have come out lost a couple here so anyways i think the whole side will have to be repaneled because just touching the plastic makes it crack so it's el cheapo or we don't know how long because we just bought this dacha here in the summer so i don't know how long this plastic has been here it could have been here a couple of years or it could have been put up two years ago i don't know but anyways it's just something that i wanted to point out that just by touching it it cracks that easy so definitely gonna have to address it and i'm sure it's pretty easy probably get these panels and just pop in some new bolts and it should hold all right